Welcome to the section third of Learn Blockchain course. We are starting the section three, that is smart contract with Ethereum. This is going to be a quite a quick tutorial to introduce where it came from and what the general idea behind it. Then from the next video, we will start diving into smart contracts, decentralized app, ICO, DAO, and so on. So let's have a look at Ethereum. Where did Ethereum come from? Ethereum is a project that was created by Vitalik Buterin in 2013 when he was around 19 years old. We will discuss in detail, but in general, Vitalik wanted like a scripting language, a way to create program for Bitcoin. And he didn't have the agreement from the community to do that. So he went along and created the project Ethereum. And the rest is history. You know how much it had grown by today. It has most ICO and most blockchain projects are built on top of Ethereum. Hence, can we say Bitcoin and Ethereum are friends? because they both fall on protocol. But their purpose is completely different. The purpose of Bitcoin was to create a cryptocurrency that can disrupt the banking system and allow us to transfer money borderless and permissionless. And it has no intention to provide platform for others to create project on top of it. Whereas Ethereum, the main reason for its creation is to provide platform and not to create cryptocurrency. We will go in detail what's the whole idea behind protocol that is Ethereum. The main underlining idea is that we are all interconnected. We will create a blockchain that not just allows us to store transactional data, but also allows us to store a program that facilitates the execution of the program, and that way we can decentralize any application we built. And how are we gonna decentralize? We are going to run it on the computers of the nodes that are part of the blockchain. Instead of launching an application on a server, then everybody having to go to that server, communicate and store data there, what if we could run that application on everybody's computers at the same time? That way it could be decentralized. The core idea here is to build a world supercomputer in a distributed manner and use blockchain to facilitate that. So a world supercomputer won't be like in a single place or one single big computer. It will be a collection of computers all across the globe interconnected with each other working to execute applications and program in that environment. All the working will be facilitated by the blockchain where programs will be described, transactions will be stored, any change will be recorded, and they will all be immutable, and of course copy of blockchain will be stored in all the nodes of the network. So that's the idea. The idea of Ethereum is actually to create like a world's biggest supercomputer that will be able to decentralize any applications. If you want to build decentralized application, go to the Ethereum and you can build on top of it. All the infrastructures are already there. So this is a quick idea about Ethereum. You can see this is the different protocol, Ethereum is different from Bitcoin. This is where all the development works comes in. This is where we are able to create programs. And finally, we are in this stage. It was necessary for us to go through section 1 and section 2 to understand how everything works in blockchain. Finally, we are here and we will further deep dive in the upcoming videos. At the end, I would like to recommend this article, What is Ethereum? The Ultimate Beginner's Guide by Alex Moskov. And on this note, I will see you in the next video.